And now, Chris, a couple questions I have for you on your awesome, awesome scooter here. What inspired you to create this? What, what was the birth of it? Well, you know, uh, I was kind of studying other electric scooters out there, and it just occurred to me there was an opportunity to make what wasn't a kid's toy, you know, because a lot of what you see out there has handlebars that are really close and small wheels, and to me they, they seem like kid's toys. So I wanted to create an adult fun toy, but then it morphed into something more for me because I looked at the uh, urban mobility component and, you know, an opportunity to create a clean technology product that you can take and hopefully replace some gas consumption with, you know, and short-range commuting, run errands, and, you know, so it really turned into a bigger mission than I intended in the beginning. It was just for fun, but it absolutely is a blast to ride, but there's the functionality part. You know, as How, well. I can imagine with something as sophisticated and glamorous as this vehicle here, <laughs> you put quite a bit of time into R and D, didn't you? We did. So about two and a half years of R and D, and we uh, teamed up with some some really uh, giants in the mountain bike industry as far as working on the geometry and the safety factors. So you know, we uh, we did our homework and did a, a whole bunch of prototypes and ended up building something that's safe and easy to ride. And what uh, would a viewer, or where would a viewer, excuse me, go to purchase one of these? Well, being that we're a brand new company, uh, just a little over a year old now, we're, uh, we're doing internet sales through our website. So at What's the moment, the and, uh, it's uh, www.glidecruisers.com. And uh, then we've also introduced uh, a patrol police division, so we're starting to do those as well, direct to the precincts and uh, the university police and all that too. And I'm sure it's probably a, a great product with them being one that it's a green product, it's, it's you know, energy efficient, it's fuel efficient, yep. it, well it's not even fuel efficient, it's <laughs> fuel less, isn't it? Absolutely. So it's 100% all natural fun. All electric. Yeah, and the batteries run, live underneath the deck, so your, your weight is down low, so you've got a, a real low center of gravity, so it makes it super easy to balance and ride. Uh, that's one of the beauties of the design, because really it's just keeping the tires inflated, maybe adjusting the brakes occasionally, but there's not a whole lot of maintenance. And are any of these products here, could you find them on actual bicycles or, you know, in the BMX or mountain bike industry? Well, this is a unique animal we've created from the ground floor up. So uh, there are plenty of electric bikes out there, but this is a real different animal in that it's not, it falls in the classification of electric scooters, but we call them electric cruisers because it's got a much bigger wheelbase up to six feet long, a lot more stable with a low center of gravity. And, uh, but we do feature some standard bike, bike components like brakes and, and the wheels and tires and so on. Now I'm noticing here on this Glide electric scooter that the front wheel is larger than the back wheel. Is there a reason for that? Absolutely. So that was by design in our testing, which by the way we spent two and a half years of R&D. We discovered that having a little more impact uh, opportunity with larger tire and the larger suspension fork on the front made it ride a lot better and uh, added to the safety factors. So pretty happy with, with uh, running that direction with it. Well, I noticed you put quite a few components on here for safety. I see a bike light, which I imagine is uh, you know, great for night. I see you've got yep. some of these splash guards to protect some rocks coming up from behind. Yeah, you bet. And so we have front and back Front lights. and rear brakes, front and back lights. And so we have a little instrument panel here uh, that we're running. So we've got the light switches, uh, front and back lights, and this auxiliary lighting gives us LED strips underneath the frame and actually down in the decks uh, below so it offers a glow at night so you got a lot of visibility so you're not uh, getting run over real easy. So, so, it's, so basically you glide, glow, and go. I like the slogan, that's good. Well you saw it here first, if you want to glide, glow, and go go get yourself one of these glide electric scooters, they're awesome. I'm gonna go test this thing out right now if you don't mind Chris. Jump on it. Right, let's go have some fun. My name is Chris Wiggins with Glide Cruisers USA, here with Planet X, and really happy to be out here. Today.
You have any what? laws you're breaking? No, I wasn't breaking any laws. That was the other guy. I got my ticket book right here. You're in, you're in all kinds of trouble. All right. You're going too fast. You know that? Okay. Gonna have to give you for about 40 miles an hour in a oh. 20 mile an hour zone. What do you all think right. about that? Well, my name's Tom Cruise. You looked a little familiar. Yeah, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Okay, so giving you a tour of what we have here, we've got a, a highly fashioned frame that's all aluminum with a lot of built-in features. All the wiring is internal, so there's a lot of uh, electric components here. And you can see focusing on the rear, we've got a, a brake cable coming out. Uh, we're featuring uh, hydraulic and mechanical disc brakes on our line. These are the hydraulics here. The, it's a hub motor, so it's built right into the rear wheel. Uh, and so also most of the weight in the entire uh, cruiser is low with the motor and then the batteries are underneath the deck. So we're running lithium uh, polymer type batteries which uh, by the way we've got fantastic technology now where we're getting up to two to three thousand cycles on a, a lifetime on these. So we're doing well with that. Uh, so let me give you a little tour on some of the other electrical components. Okay, so we're looking at the controller here, which actually speaks to the motor, tells it how fast to go, and interfaces with the power systems and the battery. So looking here is our charging port, uh, built right into the frame, and it is uh, where you plug in the RCA jack that plugs into a standard wall socket. And moving up, this is our control panel here, on-off switch with the keys, our lighting switch and auxiliary lighting uh, so that runs the front and back lights and then the LED light strips run underneath the deck on both sides and then underneath the wheel well uh, we've got uh, another strip so you're really lit up at night with all that. So moving up you've got the throttle controls and so you push down to make it go uh, light indicators on battery life and so on and your brake calipers on this side we've got one of our components for cruise control and so it's as simple like with a car you just push the button to set it and you can plus or minus for speed so then on the front end we're looking at uh, the front wheel we've got a standard suspension fork and the hydraulic uh, disc brakes in the front as well. What the? Pull it over, son. I'm going to have to give you a ticket today. You have any idea how fast you were going? Yeah, we have you at 40 in a 20 mile an hour zone. And uh, keys out of the ignition, sir. You know, I can't All help right, say it, but you. I don't agree with you. I don't blame you. Here you are, son. Give yourself a nice day. You don't want to play X, we're gonna date your daughter! And your mom, too. Planet X TV.